Hey, Ableton Keys players, I know there's a bunch of you out there, but there aren't a lot of resources online for those of you doing sound design for live keys rigs in Ableton. So in this keys tutorial, I wanna teach you how to achieve a spacey, modulated reverb sound in any version of Ableton Live. Let me show you how. So you can do this in any version of Ableton Live, nine or 10, intro, standard, or suite. I've got nine standard open, and this is just the stock set that comes when you open Ableton Live. So you can do this on any MIDI track, any audio track that you'd like. So I have a MIDI track selected here. I'm going to expand this, and we're gonna drag an instrument rack down to the bottom of the screen. And then we're gonna add an instrument or a sound to this instrument rack. So I'm gonna go here to pianos, and what you see here will vary depending on the version of Ableton that you have, but pretty much any version of Ableton Live that's available is gonna have at least one grand piano instrument. So we're gonna click and drag that within the instrument rack. So now we've got this piano sound. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize the piano so we don't really need to see anything related to that for this tutorial. Now we're gonna go over here to audio effects and click and drag the reverb effect still within the instrument rack, not outside over here, but within the instrument rack after the grand piano. So now that we've got this reverb effect on here, this is what it sounds like without any tweaks. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're looking for a super lush, spacey, modulated reverb. So the first thing we're gonna do is increase the size a little bit to about 200. Next, what's gonna give us this modulated effect is the chorus area here. So first off, I'll toggle off the chorus entirely so you can hear what it sounds with no modulation. Okay, now I'm gonna to toggle it back on and then we're gonna click on this yellow dot and drag over to the right and up. Now this XY pad just gives you a way to adjust both of these parameters below at the same time. You've got the amount of chorus and then the speed of that modulation. So you can adjust these one at a time as well, but it's just dragging that dot around the XY pad. So for this type of effect, somewhere around one hertz for the speed and the blend is really to taste the amount. So that's the vertical height here. So here it is with a little bit of a higher rate and a good bit of intensity. Okay, so we've got a little bit of modulation here, but it's still not sort of this lush cavernous feel. So to get that, we're gonna increase the decay time. Let's try about five seconds. So now you can hear on these really long reverb trails, this nice swirly modulated feel. Let me bring up the intensity of the chorus effect. It's gonna be a little over exaggerated just so you can really hear what it's doing to the sound. So this is probably a little bit over the top, but I want you to be able to hear how these trails are actually affected. So we can dial this back down a little bit. You can get different effects by varying the rate here in Hertz. So further to the right, a faster chorus speed is gonna be a little bit more of a warbly feel. Really high uh, speeds will give you almost like a glitchy or artifact type of vibe. Or if you want something that has just a little bit more of a gentle sort of swelling motion behind it, you can go for a slower rate. So that right there is a really cool effect. I'll turn the reverb off just so you can remember what it sounds like on its own. back on. Now here in Ableton at Live, you just have a dry or wet uh, amount here in the bottom right corner of the reverb plugin. So if you want that reverb effect to be more prominent, 
you're actually decreasing the amount of the dry signal. So if we went up to a really high blend here, we lose the initial attack of the piano. So if you want a really wet effect, lots of reverb, but you still want the clarity of the initial signal, then what you can do is just drag this reverb plugin over to Ascend instead, and I'll turn off this reverb that's on there by default. And then we're just gonna send our dry piano signal through that spacey reverb bus. So since it's now on an aux, I'm gonna bring the wet amount up to 100%. So that gives you a little bit more granular control over both your dry signal and your really spacey reverb effect. So there's lots more you can do within the plugin to achieve different types of reverb effects, but wanted to be really specific in this tutorial and just give you one specific thing that you can do to get a really cool reverb sound. Now, if you're really interested in sound design like this for Worship Keys in Ableton, but you don't have a lot of time to do it on your own, then we have a template called Sunday Keys, which is designed for live worship keys sounds in Ableton Live. And I've got it open here really quickly so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It comes with tons of ready to play sounds that don't require any third party plugins or expensive sample libraries. And you've got lots of sounds ready to go. So for example, I've got this modulated piano that's already designed with this type of modulated reverb effect on it. and then lots more worship sounds that I can just bring in with a touch of a button. And nail common modern worship keys sounds. If you'd like to learn more about Sunday Keys for Ableton, I'll include a link in the description of this video to that resource, so I hope that you'll check it out. I'll also include a link to our weekly newsletter where we send out Ableton tutorials, free Ableton patches, and more resources for worship keys players specifically. So go ahead and sign up for our newsletter as well. Also be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment so you don't miss our next Ableton tutorial. Thanks for watching.